God bless you. God bless you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. You are blessed. You are blessed as you join me in this short teaching on importance of prayer wash. Uh, prayer wash uh, is important, and I believe that as a believer, you must seize the opportunity to enrich your spiritual life and the depth of your knowledge with God so that you can enhance and, and get the best out of your prayer uh, life in the name of Jesus. Now, prayer is a spiritual uh, process, and it's not something we do uh, just because of doing it and it's important because prayer changes life prayer changes situation and prayer bring transformation and in your journey and your spiritual life with christ uh prayer is what deepens your relationship and of with god and also to have a depth in spiritual things around you now jesus says something very profound and before we look at that verse uh what you must do or what you must pray during the eight prayer wash is important. So each of the wash are spiritual and their spiritual atmosphere or climate that uh, enhance your prayer life as a child of God. And that is why for individual believer, you have to understand the prayer wash, what it is and what to pray and the biblical reasons why this has to be done. And as you do so, you will see your life move in the directions of purpose of God for you in Jesus name now in Matthew chapter uh, 6 verse 6 now Jesus says something very clearly and very profound Jesus says but when you pray now you can see that the demand on us as a child of God is not is about when so it means prayer is compulsory is the time you pray so Prayer is mandatory. It's not optional. So it is not, it is when you pray. And Christ is saying, when you pray, when you pray, so it's expectation that we have to pray. Hallelujah. And if you read the whole verse, he gave us a lot of guidance on how to pray. Now, what is, what is prayer wash? What is prayer wash? These are specific times, specific times of the day and night when we offer prayer as a child of God. And it's a time when you offer prayer. Uh, it's a time also when you meditate. Meditation is important. And a time for spiritual reflection. So when we look at that word, the prayer wash, so these are time and season. These are time of the day or time of the night where you uh, engage in prayer, when you engage in meditation, it could be for personal reason and it can be for intercession uh, for your family, for your community, or for your nation. So hallelujah. But this is the time. These are the times. And these times have been, have been split into, into two half. That's why Jesus said in his word, are there not 12 hours in a day? So if you look at each prayer watch, uh, they've been split into. We have eight sections. Hallelujah. In 24 hours. And we are going to look at them. So there are eight prayer watches in a 24 hours period. And each of the prayer watch, they last for three hours. Each of them lasts for three hours. There are eight of it. So if you multiply eight with three, it gives you 24. So there are four for the day, four for the night. Hallelujah. But these are, they have a significance and they are very important to our spiritual life anyone any believer that want to really build their spiritual life uh, and they want to be more discernment they want to be more discerning in their art of prayer they have to understand this and this is something for for you as a child of god uh, to really push yourself to understand each of the prayer watch has a, has its own significance and they have spiritual implications they have spiritual implications and and there are specific or recommended prayer uh, or meditation you have to do at those hours. So I believe you are listening because you are matured a believer and you are ready to to crack bone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So as you as you follow this concept of prayer, uh, it's biblical. So you, you will tend to understand why some certain things 
happens in your life or around you at uh, sometimes so you have to be like the sons of Issachar that understand the time and the season so God is expecting us so I'm going to go through all this prayer watch one at a time and you will be blessed and if you have any question after this you can leave the comments after this video I will be I will be happy uh, to to answer those questions hallelujah and I will also share my uh, my whatsapp prayer contact so you can always send me questions uh, if it's personal questions I can always answer your questions also to the glory of God now the first prayer wash start from 6 in the evening 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. that's the first prayer wash it start from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. and you can see biblical references in in Matthew chapter 15 if you read the story from 15 to 23 in Mark chapter 1 verse 32 and Luke chapter 4 verse 40 now the first prayer watch is from 6 p.m. Uh, to uh, 9 p.m. so three hours duration and that is how it lasts now this prayer watch is important because it's a time it's a time to pray for to pray for the voice uh, negative voices in your life to be silent so as you are there as a child of God these are time that you pray against this period you pray against and to silent voices voices or cases cases of the enemy in in our life in your family in your career in your your church in your nation your city you you silence them this is a time where you it's a time of prayer to to, to silence those cases because cases has voices just the same way that blessing also have a voice and remember that the first prayer watch is important because uh this is at the time when jesus went aside in matthew 15 from 15 to 23 when jesus went aside it was the first prayer watch to 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 pray and and this at the time when he performed healings so that is why if you look in mark chapter 1 verse 32 and luke chapter 4 verse 40 this at the time that Jesus performed this miraculous deed. So it's a time for you. Any works of the enemy against your life, you silence them. And the kind of prayer you pray at this period are also very important. They are very profound. So that as a child of God, you know exactly what to pray for. Now time to pray to silence the voices of the enemy. This is the first prayer watch. Uh, this are the time. And it's a time to pray for the impossible. So whatever the, the, you, you, you deem that is impossible, Things that is just can be done by the nature of God. Hallelujah. So you begin to pray for those things. You pray for healing. It's a time to pray for healing. Take that season. Because at that period, that season, the angelic uh, angels of healings are around. Hallelujah. So uh, time for preservation or for your life also, for your for your career, your business, your family. These are the kind of prayer you pray at this period. So in this period, these are prayers you offer to the Lord. You can offer other prayer. Uh, don't get me wrong, but please predominantly you, you focus and channel your prayer on the and you begin to see there's some the, the move of God in your life in Jesus' name. The second prayer wash uh is is from 9 p.m. to 12 midnight. 9 p.m. to 12 midnight. And this can be seen in Exodus chapter 12 verse 29. Exodus chapter 12 verse 29. Is, is, is a very powerful time uh, and, and it's important to us biblically. So for those of us that are here and you are thinking about, okay, uh, what is the second uh, prayer watch? What time is it? And that is from 9 p.m. Uh, to 12 midnight. Hallelujah. And it's a time that you, you, you seize opportunity to pray for protection. Because if you look at that period, that was when the Israelites were spared by the angel of death angel of death that came upon upon the, upon the land of egypt but they were spared at that period so it's a time that you you announce your prayer and you focus on on because they were favored they were favored they were singled out for favor by god so it's a time it's a special time for divine favor so when you are praying for favor these are times that you cry to god for favor uh it's, it's, it's a special time for favor uh, you can pray for divine favor over your job your business your career your family uh, it's also a time to pray uh, for the spirit of prayer hallelujah it's a time for to pray for divine protection because at this period the angel of protections are all around you in this specific time time to pray for provision provision 
from God. Hallelujah. And for God's work. Hallelujah. So this is a uh, second wash. Hallelujah. And uh, the third wash is from midnight to 3 a.m. This is a powerful time. From from uh, 12 midnight uh, to 3 a.m. This is a powerful time. It's a spiritual time. Uh, and if you read the uh, in the Bible, in Matthew 26, you will see. In Matthew 26, I'll put some references on, on the screen. Mark chapter 14, Luke 22, and John 13. Read the whole chapter. It's going to give you an insight. What, the importance of the third wash. Why the third Because the third wash is, is more of a spiritual warfare. It's, it's, it's a time for spiritual warfare. And that is why you see that so many uh, prayer gathering, they pray warfare at this period. It's a spiritual, and for you personally, as a child of God, this is a time because the, the, the atmosphere that is around you, the angel that are around you at that period, are uh, warfare angel. It's a time to release somebody from the prison. Uh, if you remember the, the story of Paul and Silas at midnight. So at midnight, they begin to cry. And, and that is a time to release from the prison. A time, a time to pray for marriages. Marriages are spiritual. The spiritual, especially for those of us that are believing God for, for, for marriage breakthrough, marital settlement, marital breakthrough. This is a time of your, you don't, it's, these are the time you don't sleep. These are the time you pray for marital breakthrough. So if you are there, you are trusting God and you are believing God. The third wash is important because the third, third wash starts from 12 midnight and to 3 a.m. in the morning. It's a time that you are dealing with so many things. Hallelujah. And as we pray, the, the enemy is at war at that period. Remember, at this was at this time that the Peter denied Jesus. It was at it was at this time that Peter began to deny him because that is a time of weariness, the time of stress, the time of that you are feel. But you want you don't want the enemy to gain upper hand. This is a time that you pray as a child of God. You do warfare, Hallelujah. And as you do so, God of heaven, He will answer you in the name of Jesus. So, like I said, the third watch is primarily. Uh, the time that you pray uh, for spiritual warfare, spiritual warfare in your family, in your life, and you pray for yourself to be loose from any attack of the enemy. In Jesus' name, pray. The, the, the fourth, the fourth prayer watch starts from 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. It's also a powerful time uh, for believers. Uh, if you read the, the book of Exodus chapter 14, if you read the whole story, uh, that was a time of divine judgment divine judgment so this is a time of divine judgment it's a time of prayer for deliverance also as a time for prayer for deliverance so as you are there uh you, you can take this up especially if you wake up between this period of time and you normally the lord wakes you up uh there's a video i'm going to do about praying between 3 a.m and 6 a.m the importance of it uh, because this wash is important it's a time for divine judgment on any activity and agenda of the enemy in your life any plan of any enemy in your life. So this is the time that you pray. It's a time for deliverance for those in bondage. For those in bondage. It's a time for deliverance. Uh, the Israelites were led out of Egypt at that period. Exodus 14, if you read the whole story. So this is the time that angels of deliverance are sent on errand. They are on, they are on activity. And as you take hold of this point, you pray for deliverance for your life. Deliverance from for your family, your business, your finances your health you you pray for your self deliverance hallelujah and as you do so you see god and the power of god move in your life so it's a time to pray for divine judgment of god on all the works of the enemy attacking your life the fifth prayer wash that is the prayer wash that start from 6 a.m to 9 a.m from 6 a.m to 9 a.m that's the fifth uh prayer wash is the time and if you read the book of heart chapter 2 verse 15 you will find this there. You will find this there. And this is a time when you are praying at this time. It's a time of declaration. It's a time when you make declaration. Declaration and utterances. So for those of you, uh, you declare the word of God over your situation. You make utterances. You declare what you want to see in your life. It's a time for healing of the soul. Because this is the time that the soul is healed. You declare over your soul from any stress, depression, whatever it may be that you might be passing through in your life but these are the time that you pray and as you pray for this you see the power of god begin to move in your life in the name of jesus so the, the fifth watch is important it's important because it's the early hour of the day 
so the time of declaration so any healing of the soul it could be your your emotions your mind your relationship whatever it may be you pray hallelujah and this is the time of the outpouring of the spirit of the father upon your spirit hallelujah so somebody so you you, you take that period declaration is important anyone that prayed during the, the fifth wash you must declare you must declare the promise of the father over your life and as you do so the blessings of god will begin to flow in your life in the name of jesus the sixth prayer wash is from 9 a.m to 12 noon 9 a.m to 12 noon and you can find the record of this in exodus chapter 12. exodus chapter 12 is important for us that we will note this please note all these uh, verses and go and study them it's a time when the Israelites they are uh, they were ready uh, to build the tabernacle they were ready to build the tabernacle so it's a it's a, it's a time of prayer prayer for actual work the start of the day hallelujah the start of the day so this time uh i will always say that it's a time of harvest it's a time of harvest so you're declaring god's promises again just like you've done before but for your life and a time to pray for the benefit of the cross of calvary for those of us in the new testament we, we pray for the benefit of the cross of calvary over our life hallelujah so the the, the sixth uh, prayer watch start from 9 a.m to 12 noon hallelujah so remember harvest come because there's a seed that been sown so it's a time you begin to rain your take your harvest through declaration you begin to take what belong to you in the name of jesus christ of nazareth now there's the seventh prayer watch uh it starts from the 12th noon 12th noon to 3 p.m 12th noon to 3 p.m you can you can reference this in the bible in john 17 20 john 17 20 and Acts chapter 10 verse 19 Acts chapter 10 verse 19 and this is the time that we pray for the indwelling the time of dwelling in the secret place of the most high psalm 91 dwelling in the secret place of the most high you are dwelling in the secret place of the most high this is a time that you are praying to dwell in god's habitation both habitation you are praying against destruction that stuck at noonday you pray against any destruction that stuck at noonday against you your family your business your health your career your marriage hallelujah this is a time you pray against it and as you do so you see the move of the father the power of god over your life the seventh prayer watch is important uh because a lot of us maybe you are at break time in your workplace uh, you, uh, you or you are lunch time this period because it falls between the break time uh, for most of the workplace uh, remember to pray remember in john 17 20 uh, this was the prayer for redemption redemptions of others intercede for souls intercede for souls intercede because jesus was dying on the cross for the whole world at that period hallelujah so i want you to know it's important and and, and that is the time that you can take to intercede for others so we are called to to save others also so if there anyone around you that you know that is not saved pray for them at this period because this time always signify the time that christ was dying on the cross of calvary and as you take hold of it you see the blessings of the lord come in your life in jesus name and the final one the eight wash start from 3 p.m to 6 p.m 3 p.m to 6 p.m and you can we can take uh, bible references for this in john 19 30. please go and study this Bible references it will help you a lot. Uh, it will help you to to understand better. Mark fifteen thirty four and and Matthew twenty seven uh, verse fifty seven. This is going to help you. This hour of prayer is a hour of covenant. This the hate wash is the hour of covenant. Is the hour of covenant hour of power of triumph and glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. So it's a time to remove limitation. You pray against limitation factor embargoes spiritual embargoes against you delays in your life you pray against them say time and hour of revelation where revelation is come there's nothing blocking the veil the veil was destroyed at that time hallelujah so somebody it's a time for a change the change begin hallelujah and this is the time as you are there you pray and as you pray for this you see the change you want in your life the change in your family because there was a time that jesus said on the cross of calvary it is finished it is finished it is finished 
So it was the time it was it, it said it is finished. It was time that was it was it was dead and it was buried. Hallelujah. Praise God. So this is the time that the veil in the in the temple split into two. So revelation come. So it's a time you pray for revelation concerning your future, concerning your life, concerning your family. And as you do so, the blessings of God will come to you. So I want you to know that God has allowed you to to listen to this because there's something about your spiritual life that you have to change. The, the eight prayer wash are important. So what you must pray during this eight prayer wash, make it a habit and begin to see your life begin to change in the direction that God wants you to be. Remember what Jesus said. Jesus said, but when you pray, so prayer is not about, it's an expectation, it's when, when you pray. So remember, you have to pray. And, and, and pray with spiritual understanding. Pray with, embed this into your prayer life. And you see the change that you desire in the name of Jesus. And if this teaching has blessed you, I want you to please leave a comment. Leave a comment on the, on the, on the, on the, on the, on the video. Leave a comment. Uh, leave a comment before you leave. And also for those of you that have been watching maybe on the Facebook uh, or those of you on YouTube, you can subscribe if you know you are blessed. I will be teaching uh, another, there will be another video coming out very soon on what you must do between 3 and 6 a.m. How to pray and what exactly you must do. The, the, the five things you must do. Hallelujah. Anytime. For those of you that see yourself always waking up at that period. Hallelujah. But if this video has blessed you, please, I want you to leave a comment and tell us how much this video has blessed you, uh, how much it has blessed your life. God bless you. Hallelujah. You are blessed in Jesus' name.